We are Team Truewater. We are a capstone team with the Department of Biological and Agricultural Engineering. And uh, we're with the Monica Castillo uh, Comprehensive Long-Term Sustainable Infrastructure Improvements Project. Um, and so kind of some background on our project. Uh, our direct client is the, is the community of Monte Castillo, Peru. So this is a small impoverished village in the, uh, in the, the desert region of Peru, um, in the region called uh, Paira. It's kind of in the northern part of Peru, as you can see from the map down in the, um, present in the, on the poster there. Um, and so uh, this is a community of about 7,000 people. And uh, they have a wastewater system that was constructed in the 1990s, but since it was constructed, there's been little to no routine maintenance or any kind of upkeep, upkeep than, um, happening on that. And so as a result, it's uh, kind of fallen apart. It's, there's a lot of things going wrong with it. As you can see from some of the pictures of the manholes down there, some of the manholes are um, caving in and the, the lids are collapsing, allowing debris to enter the system. Other manholes are protruding up from the street, causing hazards for cars and other users of the street and stuff like that. And so the system as a whole is just kind of falling apart. There's uh, sections of collapsed pipe throughout the system. Um, the map down below in the uh, in the in the poster there, um, there's about so you can see about 714 feet of collapsed piping in the system, and so um, immediate repairs are needed. Um, and so um, that's kind of where we come in with our with our project. So the objectives of the project were to first perform a risk-based analysis of the system to figure out which parts of the system we need to repair first. Um, from there, we developed the prioritized list of repairs and then developed repair and improvement plans for each system component, component and then created a maintenance plan so we could have future um, fixes to the problems that will come up later on. Um, from there, we had our risk-based analysis, which basically used consequence of failure criteria and assessed each area of concern and organized it onto evaluation matrices. Um, the areas of concern were manholes and the sewer mains, and they're scored given the criteria shown below. Um, the sites with the highest overall score were given top priority. For our repairs, we wanted to keep everything as simple and straightforward as possible for cost purposes and because obviously being a rural village in Peru, they're probably going to have a lack of resources. Um, so the reparations are specific to each individual site, but we summarize them as follows. The manholes each need to be excavated and cleaned out first before any repairs or additions can be made to them. And any manhole missing a lid or with a damaged lid needs a new prefabricated lid with a built-in skirt. And um, all the damaged concrete around the manhole, which is really its main support system, needs to be replaced. And um, we recommended that each manhole receive a cementitious mortar lining, and that will help ensure that it lasts a lot longer than they did before. For the collapsed pipeline, we recommended that the existing um, concrete force mains be removed by open trench excavation and that um, an addition of eight inch PVC pipe be placed in their, um, in their place. And PVC pipe will last a lot longer than the existing concrete pipe and does not require a lot of the extra additions to make it um, last longer that, that a concrete pipe would typically require. For internally damaged pipeline, which we didn't identify any point issues throughout the project, but just in case the issues are um, made aware in the future, we recommended trenchless repair and for these pipelines to be cleaned out by some sort of mechanical method or abrading agent. And then we recommend that for point repairs that an insertion of an epoxy sleeve liner be made just to act as like a new pipe interior and make sure the pipes last a lot longer than they have been. For the lift station, recent repairs had been made by local contractors, but we recommended that the wet well be cleaned out and that all of the grease and sludge and other solids be disposed of 
Um, we also we also recommended that an automated float system be added to the lift station just to make the operations run smoother because right now everything is running either manually or just with a really old system. And ideally, um, in the next few years, the lift station would receive two new pumps that have a greater capacity. For the maintenance plan, we recommended annual routine wastewater system inspections by a service provider. Then we recommended an internal televised video inspection probably every two to four years by the same service provider and recommended full sewer system cleaning by way of, of rotting, hydrojetting, sewer ball, or other trusted methods conducted by a service provider. Um, we also recommended planning, scheduling, and budgeting of inspections and cleanings by a Monte Castillo representative. Um, our construction cost portion of the project was pretty difficult to get through because we didn't have access to any Peruvian cost sheets or cost estimates or any type of Peruvian sources. So what we did is we took US civil construction prices from different American databases and we found items, tasks, and services that were either pretty similar or identical to the ones that we would be needing for our construction efforts. And we converted those prices to Peruvian souls. Our OPCC opinion of probable construction costs came out to 617,680 souls. Um, that total includes a 15% contingency and 5% inflation, just for caution and to make sure that this is a maximum estimation and not a minimum estimation. And our OPCC accounts for the collapsed pipe segment repairs, all manhole repairs, and the lift station construction efforts. Is it kind of as a general schedule for implementing these recommendations that we've developed? Uh, we kind of broke it into uh, immediate, immediate repairs, things that we think should be done immediately to the system to prevent further damage. Secondary repairs, which are things that we think should be done um, before too long, within the next year or so, and then kind of future construction efforts of things that, that should be done eventually. Um, so for the immediate repairs, um, the first thing is to re replace the, uh, the three sections of collapse pipeline. Um, these sections are not allowing water to, to flow through them or are um, really constricting the flow of the wastewater through those, those sections of the pipe. And so those need to be dug up and repaired as soon as possible um, just to prevent any further clogging of the system. Um, additionally, the, the top 15 manholes on like our evaluation matrix and our prioritized list should be repaired. This is mostly because um, most of these manholes are either missing lids or have lids that are um, not really keeping debris out of the system. And so as a result, these are primary entry points for debris into the system that is causing um, clogs and stuff like that further into further down the system. Um, so we recommend that those things be replaced um, as soon as possible. For the secondary repairs, uh, the first thing is to repair the other manholes that are not the, the top 15. Um, these are ones that have issues, but the issues aren't necessarily uh, super crucial. Um, and also to add an automatic float system to the lift station. This would increase the flow rate through the lift station and would just um, decrease the backups that are happening at that point in the system. Future construction efforts would be to um, perform point repairs to existing forest mains, um, improvements to the treatment lagoons that's currently treating the wastewater, and upgrade the pumps on the lift station. Because right now the pumps that are there are kind of overpowered and so it'd be a lot better to have some um, higher capacity newer pumps on the lift station. Those are kind of out of the scope of the initial improvements, but we think that um, after a couple of years, those things should be replaced uh, just to increase the flow of the lift station. And so um, this is kind of our recommendation plan that we've developed um, throughout the course of this year with our capstone project. Uh, we think that by implementing these, uh, these recommendations, that the system, the wastewater system in Monte Castillo will be a lot better and it'll be a lot better, just more beneficial for the community um, and will protect the environment around the, around the community and the community itself.